welcome back everybody this week to another she sequel chefs episode and I have my guest chef today Eugene Meininger who's gonna to talk to us about power query yeah I'm very happy to be on the show I really appreciate this opportunity to show everyone what you can do when you have to do self-service data preparation so whenever you're learning about power BI there's two different languages that you're gonna be using to prepare your data you've got power query or the M language which is for the main preparation it's kind of the sous chef where it does all the legwork, all the cleaning and uh, chopping and uh, preparing all that kind of stuff. And then you've got Dax, which is more like the head chef, who makes all the decisions, decides what's going to be on the menu, drinks all the wine, and basically adds the final touches to things. So let's pretend that we've got here, for example, some data. And so maybe some of our data is already prepared, that right? Looks, that looks like some nice data. Right? This is probably coming out of a relational database, maybe some SQL. It's already got some data types. And so Power Query doesn't have to do a lot of work. In this case, we can kind of just dump it straight on, right? Just do our little select star and there we go. Got some radishes. That's, that's, that's good. That's good data. That's good data. Yeah. Same thing. Maybe you're pulling from Oracle or some other system. Now, that's great if your data is clean. But we all know we have dirty data that needs a little bit of work. So let's say, for example, that maybe some of your data lives in Excel, right? And so you got to tear that open, you got to clean that up, and like, look, this is a mess. This is dirty data. You don't want that. Yeah. And so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to do a little bit of work. Make sure you're using the right end of this. And you got to you got to cut your uh, you got to cut your data and maybe do some pivots, some unpivots, all that. Kind I of love stuff. that technique. There. Yeah. yeah, no, it's nice. very good. Years of experience, you learn some of this stuff. So Power Query is going to put that over here and say, all right, we're good. Now, let's say you've got some data in a CSV file. You don't know which end is up, right? Do we want to zest this? Well, no, not for this. Maybe we're making cookies. We don't want to zest it. What we're going to do is going to give that a nice chop, and we're going to merge it with some of the data that we have. Give a nice little squeeze. Look at that. Isn't that Man, beautiful? That's looking great. Yeah. And then finally, again, maybe we have some more data that's living in some flat files or access or something like that requires a little bit of work. So maybe give it a little bit of a chop. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're gonna clean things up a little, get mm -hmm. rid of some parts that we don't need, any of that kind of stuff. So that's Power Query, right? Is it's getting you all this data and it's helping you do this data preparation. But you could pay someone $8 an hour to chop broccoli, right? Anyone can do that. Now, maybe not as good as you. No, but, no, I mean, I get that. But yeah, I think, I think most people right. could do that. And so there's a reason that you're the, you're the head chef, because you're gonna help combine everything together, right? I thought I only had one job. Well, okay, you can, you can handle that. <laughs> it's a drinking day. So with Dax, you're gonna take all this data that's been prepared and you need to mix it together into a model. So we're just gonna get that out, dump there. all that in, add a little bit of this CSV, or the SQL data. Yeah, and it's in this broccoli. Yeah, yeah, I think that was from, I think that was from Excel. All right. And then finally, you wanna add that semantic BI layer, right? No, not, oh. the, not the one, the, oh. A little bit of the dressing. The dressing, yeah. You want to add this. This is where you encapsulate the business logic. You add the meaning. I know it's it hasn't been worked on yet. I, I apologize. It's fresh. So with Dax, you want to do yeah, I'll do that. So you add a little bit of sprizzle, and then you mix it together. And now you have a data model that's ready to be consumed by your end users, right? So if you're working with Power BI, that's the distinction. It's good stuff. That's the distinction between Power Query and Dax. Power Query does all the data prep, and Dax is where the real magic happens. That's yeah, Eugene, difficult. thank you. Thank you for coming on the show. Oh, you're welcome. Appreciate the, uh, the great data salad that yeah. you, you helped us make. And uh, thanks for everyone for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks.